Welcome to the audio described version of the camouflage episode of the Granite Desk series. A park ranger in uniform stands at a large, flat rock with granite boulders and desert vegetation behind her. A Chiron bar with a Joshua Tree icon reads Granite News Desk, which then disappears. Hello and welcome to the Granite Desk coming to you from Joshua Tree National Park. I'm Ranger Simone. And I'm Ranger Sarah Jane. A second person pops up from behind the desk dressed in a brightly colored outfit and a large, silly straw hat. Text appears that says Ranger Simone, followed by text that says Ranger Sarah Jane. Today we're talking about fashion. Wow, that's quite an outfit. Why are you wearing that? You said today's segment was all about how colors and patterns help desert animals survive. I wore as many colors and patterns as I could. Those patterns and colors are definitely not helping you. Desert animals have markings and coloration that help them blend into the environment. Let's see if you can find the animals in these photos. A photo of a pale beige lizard blending in with the light-colored woody stems of a bush. A red circle highlights its location. Distant bighorn sheep blend into a rocky hillside, then are highlighted by red circles. A brown horned lizard blends into the pebbly desert floor, then is highlighted by a red circle. Wow, those animals were really good at hiding. I guess I don't have a very good disguise. But animals' colors also help them stay cool. And you have to admit, I look pretty cool. I don't think that's what they mean by staying cool. It's more about keeping body temperatures low than dressing well. Let's check in with Ranger Bill and meet some animals who are even wilder than you. Time lapse of the sun setting behind a Joshua tree. A cottontail rabbit looks towards the camera. A time lapse of Joshua trees with their shadows moving across a granite rock face. A desert tortoise slowly walks along the ground. Purple lupin flowers wave in the breeze. A time lapse of sunset over the park landscape with the words granite desk in large block letters and the episode title camouflage printed smaller. A park ranger in uniform in a new location with a large granite outcrop behind him. Text on screen reads Ranger Bill. Like Simone said, the way animals dress isn't just for show. Wild animals will often use their colors to blend into their environment, which is called camouflage. This helps animals hide from predators that might want to eat them. A white lizard blends into a woody shrub with white sticks, then shows up as it starts moving. A cottontail rabbit sits in the shade under a bush, then runs away. Rabbits have plain gray coats that help them blend into the shade underneath bushes where they like to hang out. Camouflage can also help predators sneak up on their prey. Some have elaborate patterns, like the roadrunner's black and white feathers that looks like the sun filtering through bushes where they like to hunt. A roadrunner sits beneath a creosote bush, then trots away, its feathers matching the browns of the desert floor. Snakes are both predators and prey, so they definitely need camouflage. Two photos of snakes, one black and yellow snake curled up beneath a bush and one rattlesnake slithering along the ground. They hunt small animals like mice and ground squirrels, and they're also hunted by animals like red-tailed hawks and coyotes. Other animals use patterns like flashy black and white stripes to distract predators from their vital organs, like the striped tails of zebra tail lizards and ring tail cats. Photo of a gray speckled lizard with a black and white striped tail, and photo of a ring tail cat. Another way animals use color is to stay cool. In the desert, animals that are active during the day are often light colored, like the desert iguana. A white lizard with light brown patterning walks along the light colored desert sand. Light colors help them blend into the sand and rocks and also help reflect sunlight, which helps keep them just a little bit cooler. So as you can see, the look of an animal can help it survive, whether it's using light colors to help it stay cool or using camouflage to hunt prey or hide from predators. This has been Ranger Bill reporting for the Granite Desk. Back to you. Return to the news desk with Ranger Simone with no Sarah Jane in sight. Wow, that was neat. What was your favorite animal, Sarah Jane? Uh, Sarah Jane? Ranger Sarah Jane is hiding behind a creosote bush, lifting a branch aside to show her face. Can you see me? Yes. Darn, I was trying to camouflage. I wore green pants like the plants and a gray shirt like the rocks. It was a good try, but your camouflage needs a little work. What would you wear if you wanted to blend into the environment where you live? What colors and patterns have you seen on animals that live near you? Remember, wild animals need plenty of space to feel safe. If you see a wild animal trying to camouflage, don't try to touch it or pick it up. Thanks again for joining us on another Granite Desk adventure. What, what will we, we explore, explore next? Text on screen. 
Video by Perry Sassnet. Additional footage by Christy Rugg, Hannah Schwalbe, Glauco Puig Santana, Ian Law, Dana Bradshaw. Thanks to the Living Desert Zoo and Gardens. Graphics by Alessandra Puig Santana. Text on screen. Joshua Tree National Park acknowledges the Kawea, Chemawevi, Serrano, and Mojave people as the original stewards of the land on which the park now sits. We are grateful to have the opportunity to work with the indigenous people in this place. We pay our respect to the indigenous people past, present, and emerging who have been here since time immemorial. The NPS Arrowhead logo on a black background.